When you're so famous, you see yourself at Kyoto Station? So I've actually just relocated to the second location, this other Airbnb. Oh my god, they were so freaking polite. I love that Japanese hospitality. Anyways, let me give you guys a room tour real quick because I am sleepy. So you walk in, little shoe area, turn the corner and ta-da! So nice. Sink, one-eyed stove, little kitchen stuff, microwave. This countertop is just so impressive. I feel like this is an apartment and not like a hotel. Fridge. All right, and then we have two beds and they're both gigantic. TV. I thought this chair was so cute. Like this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this place. So chair pulls out like that. And then check this out. How nice. Someone has a makeup area. Yeah, can't wait to do my makeup in there. And then it has this really cute little seating area. Oh my God, the sofa and then two chairs and the table and a stool. And another TV. I don't know why we need a TV next to a TV, but we have a TV next to a TV. I don't know what's out here. I swear there was no view. Oh, there's a balcony. I didn't know that. Oh, there is a balcony. How nice. We're only on the second floor, so I can't really expect much for the view. Over here, towards the door, we have the bathroom. Wow, that's a lot of towels. Very nice little bathroom. I think this must be the shower. Nice. This is the toilet. Yes, most important room of all. This entire room is only $23 a night. I know, right? But yeah, here's the room. morning everyone so today is supposed to be another work day um we don't really have any sightseeing planned but we're gonna try and squeeze some in there as well my main objective is to find some freaking wooden spoons i don't know why this has been such a mission but it has i've passed by plenty of shops and stuff and then ended up not getting them and then regretting it or we'll go to like the main attraction and then by the time we get back to the souvenir section everything's closed because they close pretty early they close like around five yeah this trip has been pretty chill i think this is like the first day that i'm like really really tired one thing i'm very happy about is how easily i can do my hair and just get out of this house i am so glad that this wig is bomb like a bad wig will ruin a trip like ain't nobody got time for that so we're about to go get breakfast what time is it 11. yeah it's more like lunch brunch it's 11 o'clock and we're gonna go walk and get breakfast there's not too much around here so options were limited i really just want some eggs i want eggs toast and like salad i don't know why that's what i've been craving but that's what i want i don't want no omelet rice i don't want no dang curry don't nobody want no katsu i don't want none of that i just want some eggs i think i'm done all right so my outfit i'm just wearing this like white long sleeve it's actually heat tech from uniqlo these pants are from pretty little things and this jacket is from my shop this top necklace is from Ana Luisa. These earrings are from the dollar store. This hair is from Victoria's Wigs, one of my favorites. I've been loving this unit. It's just been really holding up and I am very happy about that because I hate spending a lot of time in the morning curling my hair or recurling my hair. Well, yeah, this is today's outfit. Let's go. We've come out to get breakfast, but we're gonna stop in this drugstore because I don't know what the flip. I don't know how people wear low rise shoes, but like it's been rubbing on the back of my leg and it's like bleeding already. I'm not a low top type of girl. I don't know how y'all be wearing these things. You got the goods, got the drugs. Oh, these are the good band aids. Yeah. These ones are like magical, they're like skin. Thank you. All right, so we've come to this place. I think it's called Kame Coffee Kyoto. We're just gonna get breakfast here and then we're gonna head out and I saw like a really delicious creme brulee donut down the street. I think I'm gonna get that too. This thing is massive. Holy poop. Get your paws off it. 
So I got the bacon, egg, and toast. He got some kind of chicken sandwich. And we also got some waffles. Wow, those look good. I had curly fries on the menu and I just could not help myself because I haven't had those in so long. And it reminds me of Jack in the Box. I mean, it says world's best donut, so like we, we gotta try it, right? Just to make sure, just to make sure. Just in case. Wow. Oh, the shot? Yeah, shot, the BCG shot. You know, that is, uh, it's kind of working the, for the coronavirus. Oh. Yeah, because the, you, you don't BCG, right? No. But we had, we kind of, uh. Yeah, baby. Yeah, babies have it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, yeah, we don't. I, we don't. We don't have that. Yeah, American people know, right? Yeah, Italian no, people, no. Spain, everybody know, right? So many people die, right? Mm. But in Japan, it's right, also, right, right as well, yeah, yeah, it's oh. very different, right? So it's kind of like a uh, rumor, not now, oh. kind of rumor. But I wonder. Say yeah, people say yeah, it's working. Oh. Also, in, in Japan, people don't hug or kiss or shake hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah right. And. Many people are very hygienic anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hair. Oh, More yeah, clean, yeah. yeah. So I wonder if that shot is helping. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. The shop owner was like super nice. I don't know how we ended up talking about Corona, but we did. He has a myth that Japanese have like this vaccination when they're young that they get. That's actually helping them to not die when they get Corona. I wonder if that's actually true. Anyways, we got supposedly the world's best donut, some creme brulee donut. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow. Wow. World's best donut? Maybe. It's very mild, which is what I like. But I feel like a lot of other people who really like sweet stuff won't like it. Like, I don't like super sweet junk. It's yeah. very mild, yeah? That's it. That's pretty good. It is good. Later. We're actually in Nijo Castle right now. We're actually on our way to the cafe to get some work done, but we had to pass by Nijo Castle. I wanted to see if there were like any shops outside, because usually like the main areas, there are a lot of shops around them. Sadly, there were no shops, but I mean, I just can't pass by our World Heritage site and not check it out. So we went on ahead and went inside. This is actually the most expensive site I've ever seen in Kyoto so far. 1,030 yen. I thought that was really high. Like most temples and shrines are only like three to five bucks. So this was double. But it's a World Heritage site, so it's definitely worth it. Wasn't really planning on coming in here, but I've never been here before, so I'm actually pretty excited to see. my camera is doing this place zero justice I feel like I cannot vlog this it's just way too beautiful and it's just not showing up on the camera the way I want it to wow this place is so amazing good morning good morning everyone so it is a brand new day I'm just sitting here getting some work done before I head out I'm actually alone um Ash has left me no it's it's fair he went off to Fushimi Inari which is like that super famous place in Kyoto that has like all the shrine gates that like line the path and you just like walk through them I personally hated that place um just because there were too many tourists when I came I came during uh, the fall leaves and it was just that was not enjoyable so I'm actually really excited because this is probably going to be like the rarest occasion of this location in its history because corona <laughs> has cleared out the international crowd so I think this place is going to be a lot less crowded and hopefully more enjoyable however I had a lot of work to do so I'm going to finish up some work here um head over there by taxi I think it's like 18 minutes away yesterday was such a fail I Ugh. The plan was get breakfast, see something nice, and then spend the rest of the day working. Hopefully find some spoons along the way. Hopefully. Ideally, I would like to work at the same place that I get breakfast, but a lot of cafes aren't really designed for like sitting and working on a laptop and like I have a lot of work to do for like a really long period of time and I just don't want to be in an environment where I feel like I'm not supposed to be there. Right after the temple, I realized I forgot to take my medication and it's actually very, very serious and very dangerous to skip any doses. So I had to come all the way back to the hotel, take my medicine and then go to the cafe to work. We get there and there are no plugs. All right, so we've come over to this cafe. It's called Cafe Biblionic Hello. Um, we were planning on working here. It's a really, really cool spot, but they don't have freaking plugs. Even though this place is like part library, part study thing, I don't know. Beautiful, beautiful cafe, but no plugs, which ain't gonna work for me. Super cool inside. They have like books like all over the place. And I'm not even a smoothie person, but this this mango coconut smoothie is the bomb. This is fire. So 
we're already there and I don't like walking into places and walking out. So I went on ahead and ordered a coffee and a brownie and then we started mapping out the next location. The next cafe, also very nice. I loved it. They did have plugs, but we sit down and get ready to work. It's like 4.30 at this point, you know, the, the day is gone. I don't even know where it went, but it went. Uh, yeah, we sit down, it's 4.30 and she says that they close at 5.00. Your girl needs like seven hours to get this project done. It was just... <sighs> so I had to come here to the Airbnb and just work literally all night and all morning to get things done, but I got it done. So today, I'm gonna enjoy myself. Um, I'm still looking for my souvenirs. Shops, Shops. I'm ta talking to you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <gasps> You are lined up on a path that leads to a main attraction. No one wants to buy souvenirs on the way there. They want to buy them on the way out because we don't want to carry them. So you should probably stay open later than the main attraction or at least until the main attraction closes. The problem we had was like all of the stalls, all the shops on the way to the locations were closed by the time we got out of the places and like the places weren't even closed yet. You're like, y'all missing out on money. No one Comment down below what kind of souvenirs you like to get when you travel. Like my sister's obsessed with magnets. My mom loves t-shirts. Bring me a t-shirt. I'm like, you ain't even went there, but you wearing it. Talk about Hawaii. You ain't never been. My thing is postcards. And I also like to get anything like local. Like if they're famous for something specific, I like to get that thing. And of course, kitchen goods like cups and bowls and pottery and spoons and stuff like that. So I'm gonna finish getting ready. I'm actually wearing another shirt from my shop. Another sneak peek. <laughs> Did you see it? Or was it just titties? Pa, pa, pa. All right, so I'm wearing this jean jacket from Nasty Gal. The t-shirt is from my shop. Most of these necklaces are from Ana Luisa. This dress is from Pretty Little Things. I got it a long time ago. I think it was like six bucks. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be wearing some white tennies. This hair is from RPG Show. Context, TTDI, lashes. I forgot. Riding the Torii and climbing to the top of the mountain, I think it will take about two hours. <laughs> I made it! I went by taxi because I just can't be bothered today with any buses. They actually make me sick, so. Taxi driver was so freaking nice. He kept like talking to me and giving me gifts and like, I, I don't even know. Look, he gave me this. I mean, I'm in Japan, but thanks. Nice to be reminded of home, I guess. So I'm gonna try and find Ash. This location, Fushimi Inari, as I said, is famous for like all of its shrine gates. Last time I came, I did not go all the way up to the top. The top, it takes two hours. Like you can't pay me to do that. And it's like stairs. One, two, three. This is so insane. The last time I came here, literally this entire area was swarming with people. Like I couldn't even walk. This place is like ranked number one most popular tourist attraction in Japan for like five years in a row. That's how you know how many like international tourists there were. This is literally the main path and there's no one. Cannot believe this. made it and uh last time i came here i literally had to stand out there for like an hour just to get in it was a long line of people going both directions i don't know what's going on well i do know what's going on corona is going on but like this place isn't closed we're not in quarantine we're not in shutdown nothing like that it's so crazy like how many international tourists were packing this place there's nobody this i i cannot believe i'm experiencing this i'm in fushimi inari with no people just us yeah, it's, it's, this is this is pretty amazing. Coming out, and that was going in, I believe. And last time, I was literally like waiting at the end. Like I couldn't even get in. Like it took so long. Yes, boo, run. <laughs> This spot is beyond cool. Insane. 
pretty much never do like fortune things at the shrine, but I just feel like doing one today because today's my lucky day. You know, there's nobody here. It's feeling good. All right, 200 yen. Shake this and pick a paper. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh my God, it's my favorite number. Shut up. Literally my favorite number is 13. That is crazy. If that ain't a sign, holy poop. Who gets a whole, this a whole box and I get my favorite number? Wow. The number is 13. Okay. Your favorite number? Yeah, <laughs> very crazy. <laughs> great blessings, oh my God, that's great. That was great. It was basically be kind to the public and you're gonna have a good life, which I already do, so this is great. I'm on the right path. One of the souvenirs I've decided to invest a little bit of money in is in a statue. I've been wanting one of these tanuki statues for like a long time. Tanuki are basically Japanese raccoons, but they look so much different than American raccoons and like supposedly they have like magical powers and like uh, especially, uh, I don't know, the little genital area can fly and do all kinds of stuff. It's kind of creepy. If you like Ghibli, I also recommend this movie. It's called Pompoko, which is why I freaking love these tanukis so much. So I'm gonna get one. I don't know if I want one that has balls or one that has titties. I just, I, I prefer neither, but it, it's one or the other. Titties or genitals? If I want like a brass one like this or like the painted porcelain one like this. I think I'm also gonna get this little cat statue. He's green. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Souvenirs. Ash brought me the cat. I bought the tanuki. Thanks, man. You are welcome. Oh, they're yellow or gold. Nice. 